Greetings everyone, welcome back to Gundam Side Story. Let's get a little bit of exposition, and then we'll talk. Hello, white dingoes. Unfortunately, the unit you destroyed wasn't carrying the Astaroth samples. Ah. They were more than likely sent there as a decoy to buy time for the main unit to escape. Currently, Torrington Base in the East, as well as the Charville Occupation Base, are under attack from enemy forces which have, up until now, been quietly defending the perimeter of the area. There's one very telling piece of information. Only one enemy unit that is attacking Torrington Base is comprised of dome-type mobile suits. Since they were airdropped into the area, we can't confirm at which base they're stationed. What I'm about to tell you is top secret information. Since it is directly related to your mission, I'm at liberty to tell you. Okay, so nobody tell. It appears to be a small rear line support base, but in reality, its storehouse contains the nuclear weapons banned under the Antarctic Treaty. The plan well, that's was not good. to keep the base's offensive capability as low profile as possible. This, it was hoped, would avoid attracting the enemy's attention. The defense of the nukes is to be left to the forces at Charville. At this very moment, Charville is trying to dispatch reinforcements to Torrington. A large enemy force has the base completely surrounded and won't let them through. We can't be absolutely sure if the group attacking Charville is in league with the ones attacking Torrington, or whether they're just doing it to hit one of our positions. But we have to make the assumption that the enemy force surrounding Torrington knows about the nukes. Astaroth and nuclear weapons. Letting the enemy have both would be the worst disaster possible. You will go to Torrington Base and help them. Under no circumstances will you let them open the door to those nuclear weapons. We're counting on you. Good. Good. Nukes. That's always good. Right. Lieutenant, if they steal those nukes and use them, it'll have a huge effect on the war situation. Not only around here, but also around the globe. Leon, you told us before that you thought there were nukes at the Torrington base. That wasn't just a rumor, was it? You really knew about them, didn't you? Yeah, I knew about them. Huh? What do you mean, Leon? Well, I was originally in the Secret Intelligence Division at Jabrow Base. They transferred me here to protect the secret about Torrington Base. I belong to Jabro headquarters and have been given certain authority that surpasses Captain Stanley's. I thought we kept getting sent out on weird missions, so that's what it was. I'm sorry I've had to trick you up till now. But you know, after all the tough missions we've had together, I've decided that you're the best friends I have ever had. Aww. And so from now on, if I get any intelligence about our missions, even if it's top secret, I'll tell all of you what it is. Even if wind up getting court. Well, just keep telling us they're all rumors. Hey, Lieutenant, he sure did trick us big time, didn't he? Anyway, now I feel more confident about it all. Let's just keep things the way they are. I'm sorry about this, Lieutenant. You can count on me, no matter what. I'm gonna go report you to a superior officer. You just said you were gonna leak classified info. Lieutenant, our side has scored another one. <laughs> and on December 24th, the rebuilt Earth Federal Forces space fleet captured the Xeon Space Fortress Solomon, said by many to be impregnable. As the invincible Federal Forces capture position after position in space as well, the Xeon Forces seem utterly helpless to stop them. It has also been confirmed that Vice Admiral Dozel Zabi of the Space Assault Forces was killed in battle. We will keep you informed That's of any good further news. developments as it they come It looks like in. victory's all tied up for our side in space as well as on the ground, Lieutenant. <laughs> Let's just keep fighting as hard as we possibly can. I do really enjoy all the tie-ins with the uh, actual series. Those are pretty cool. Hey there, Lieutenant Rhea. What are they trying to accomplish? They're gonna wear out both you guys and those local suits. Don't be pushing yourself too hard, or you'll be no use to anyone. I get the feeling he's more worried about the suits, but whatever. Okay, how do you want it equipped? Um, okay, so... Actually, we're gonna go with the rocket launcher this time. This mission is kind of tough. Alright.
Whoops. This is four knives. All base defense forces have been neutralized. All right. Now, all we have to do is get this open. How are things looking, Gray Eye? May have got some heavy protection on this sucker. We'll try to have it cracked in 16 hours. 12 hours. We can't wait longer than that. <laughs> Roger that. I'll try, sir. Dude, that guy needs his own spinoff. Hey, Commander. It looks like reinforcements are on their way. Three enemy mobile suits. Damn it. Four knives. Rut head. You take care of them. Gray eye. They're trying to hack the door. Roger that, sir. Those Fetty suits are no match for one of our domes. Why don't we have a little fun with them, huh? What have we got to lose? Don't get too cocky. It'll just trip you up. Yeah. Alright, so I joke, but there's nothing funny about having to fight multiple domes at the same time. So, this is one of the harder missions. We're gonna have to use our teammates a little bit. As usual, I will run them mostly for a distraction. And, uh, that way I can hopefully fight one at a time. Alright, so... Uh, they're gonna have to continue taking heavy losses, I think. Okay, so I'm gonna have them attack this guy. Bang two, Roger. And then I'll go after the second Roger one. That. This is Oasis. Have completed mission sonar sweep of the area. Continuing the search. These guys are a real pain because they move so fast, which I guess is the point. So I'm going to take advantage of this little pile of dirt. And I opted for the uh, rocket launcher this time. I think it's going to be a little bit more effective. It's really up to you on that one. I, it's one thing I like is that they're equally good, just different. Urgh. There we go. Unfortunately, they do usually fire in bursts, so you can kind of, like I said, take advantage of this pile of dirt. Dirt OP, please nerf. Actually, don't. There you go. You gotta kind of catch him as he's turning. Like that. Those do basically nothing. It's funny how, you know, in the actual source material, the Vulcan guns kind of do a lot. But whenever it's a game, they do basically nothing. Also, you really don't want to get into melee with these guys. But I had a feeling I would, so that's why I chose the small shield. Oh no, the tables have turned. He's using my own strategy against me. Uh. Ah. Here we go. Get him. The more you can knock him down and get free hits at him, the better. Ooh. I gotta say, for all its flaws, I do quite like the melee system. It's kind of simplistic and kind of wonky, but it's pretty visceral. What with the... Oh, see. <laughs> Killed him with the shield dash. Okay, so the good news is it's Zaku's that come for uh, reinforcements. So let's go find that other dome and take care of him. Uh, there we go.
Can you imagine if I was trying to fight three of these guys all at the same time? Now, in a way, I actually feel like the rocket launcher one is easier, because it's easier to dodge his attacks. Whereas with the machine gun, you're just going to keep getting tagged. Hey, that looked like a hit, actually. Yeah. Okay. You guys take care of that. I'm gonna look for some Zakus. No? Alright, well, triple team. I mean, honestly, a three GMs against a... Oh no, it's actually two gun cannons. That's a little bit unfair. I was gonna say three GMs against a dome is not really that unfair. I wanna blow up my buddies, so... Alright, whatever. There was a Zaku over here. I just saw him. They seem to have that under control. Huh. I was going for a little Tribe's Descent there. Didn't quite work out. Get him! Almost. 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 That looked like a hit. I think my teammates are killing me, or somebody's killing me. seem to be doing okay. Believe me, this can go down, like, downhill really quickly if you start uh, getting engaged by multiple domes. I'm okay. Thanks. Thanks for your concern. Ah, come on. I think that was a hit. Maybe. I don't know. find it interesting the the final option or the final solution Xeon are very Nazi like are they not well at least they didn't get the nukes I guess lieutenant the mission's over what was up with that transmission we heard before probably nothing a jet core booster has just been spotted taking off from the runway this is white dingo calling please come in Jet Corps Booster Pilot, do you read me? Please, come in! Sieg, Sieg. Uh oh Let's get after him. Too late! Where has he gone? Let's see if we can trace his route and figure out where he's going. Contact headquarters about this. Jeez, some guys are just bad losers. You said it, Mike. You said it. <laughs> 